right? Shalom, 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 Kal Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. As always, double honors to our apostles, there was a great millstone that taught us this truth and do it well. Salutations to the Zakonian Wa Achim, all right, which is the elders and the brothers teaching the truth and sincere faith and honesty and shalom to the elect. So, yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to tie this video, Lord's will, is um, uh, sitting around, let us hold fast, all right, to our faith, man, you know. Okay, because there is a great reward. Yahweh Bashem El Shai promised us a great reward, all right, if we hold fast, all right, of our faith, man. And that reward is going to start with uh, being saved, man. Not only being saved from the destruction, but saved from ourselves, because we are our biggest enemy, man. This flesh, it has always been an enemy. Romans, the 8th chapter says, uh, uh, the flesh, all right, to be carnally minded is enmity against the Most High, all right? Neither, neither is it uh, subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be, so we have to be changed, man, okay? So hold fast to your belief in the Heavenly Father, because uh, 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 the reward is going to uh, start with salvation, man. As it is written, uh, Second Exodus 15, all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. Okay, so so what a time to uh, actually have belief, all right, in a way out of this thing, man. Mm -hmm. All right, through the holy true power, which is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And we have that power, man. All right, so let's start here in the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse uh, 23. I'm going to start verse 22. It says, let us draw near with the true heart in full assurance of faith. All right, hey, and the scriptures say, uh, it said of a true heart, meaning the mind. Okay, um, the scriptures say, uh, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind, man. Full assurance. So be fully persuaded that this is the truth, that the Heavenly Father, the Al-Bashim al is real. His only begotten Son is coming back. Everything that you read about and speak about and you think about, believe that it's real, man. Believe that Yahweh bashim al is able to do anything. The scriptures say with the Most High, I'm sorry, with men, it is impossible with the Most High. All things are possible, man. Do you believe that anything is possible with Yahweh Bashem Yahshai? The scriptures speak about we shall all be changed in the twinkling of an eye. Do you believe that, man? The scriptures say the Most High will make a way for you to escape in the hour of temptation, man. All right? That's 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 where our faith lies in, man. The words of the Heavenly Father, man. And it's going to be shown who believes in that time. So hold fast to the profession of your faith, man. And be uh, fully persuaded, Okay? And I'm speaking to myself first and foremost. This is uh, Hebrews 10 and 22. Let us draw near with the true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience, right? So what is that evil conscience? That old man, okay, in his old deeds, man. Okay, hatred, envy, malice, all right, concupiscence, all right, L lasciviousness, okay, and so forth and so on. In his evil deeds, man, okay, his, uh, 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 his lust, okay, all right. Okay, that, that's uh, 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 all that come out of the, uh, the mind, man. Okay, adultery, slothfulness, okay, foolishness, okay. So so you got to put that off, man. We're being, we, we have been sprinkled from that, man. And that's why you have the house of David, man. Man of uh, integrity, man of a pure heart towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And how do you know that? Because what? They would treat their fellows as if he was Yahweh Shai, man. All right, so this is Hebrews chapter 10. And there's a great reward coming for that, man. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 22, let us draw near with the true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Verse 23, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised, man. So the Most High is faithful that promised us. And what did the Most High promise us? Ultimately that he was going to save us, man, and change us from these vile bodies, man. Okay, and Apostle Paul uh, spoke about that, man. Let's get that real quick before I get this in Hebrews 3. All right. And this is why the scriptures say, uh, if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him, man. Because here it is. All right, everlasting life is promised to us. Okay. So what? You're supposed to be going hard for your help, watching your outside, and know that he's going to come and redeem you, man. Because he promised. He promised you. He promised you salvation, man. All right, this is um, Romans chapter 8 and um, verse 19. I'm going to start 18, Salakia. So I'm going to start 17, Salakia. Uh, Romans 8 and 17. All right, this is a part of that promise, man. It says, if and if children, then heirs, heirs of the most high. So we're going to be, because we are the sons, all right, that's, that word for children is sons, 
We are the sons of the Most High. We are the powers. We are Allah Hayim, the brothers out there at uh, the four corners of the earth that's teaching the truth, the city, faith, and honesty. We are the 144,000 lords. We're hopeful, hopeful elect members, man. All right? We're the sons of the Most High, man. Before we were called uh, 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 sons, of Israel, uh, sons of Israel, okay, or, or Yasha Allah, princes of power, we were called sons of the power, man, in the book of Genesis, man. All right? So we are those people, man. It says... And if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High. So we're going to be heirs of the Most High, man. It says, in joint heirs with Mashiach. You see? If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together, man. So what? You have to uh, suffer with your house, Shai, okay, in order to be glorified, man. That's why in the book of 2 Nuzzle 7 chapter, it speaks about the suffering of that straight gate, man. All right? That uh, word straight meaning uh, difficulties, man. All right? Okay, because there is going to be different difficulties and trials and tribulations and afflictions and adversity that come in this truth. But what? That's to build you if you're a man of the Lord. It says, uh, uh, gird up thy loins as a man, man. So what? The Lord is going to put you through the fire, but ultimately the fire is not to burn you. All right? The fire is to refine you, man. You see? So if you're a man of the Lord, the Lord is going to put the spirit on you to be hardened, man. The Lord is going to put the spirit on you to be purified, man, by the fire, man. Okay? All the way into the time where it's going to be physical. When Esau come in as a, a great flood, man, the men of the Lord are going to stand boldly and stiffly for that for his name. Why? Because we understand that uh, there, if we hold fast our faith, there is a promise for us, man. And that's going to start with salvation, man. Okay? It's going to start with us being saved first, man. Because we got to be changed. All right? So going back to Romans 8, verse uh, 18, it says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared the glory which shall be revealed in us, man. So we have glory in us. The scripture say, greater is he that is in you, man. Who is in us? Yahweh yeah, Shai, man. All right. See, this flesh is dead to the world, but guess what? Through the spirit, we have life. And that's why we want to be able to live forever, man. Okay? Because Yahweh Shai is in us, man. And he's going to, uh, he's going to magnify, all right, us through him, man. When we be changed. The scripture say, it does not appear what we, sh uh, what we shall be, but when he returns, we shall be changed like him, man. So we're going to be just like Yahweh Shari return, man. New creatures, new men, you know. The scripture say, behold, I make all things new, man. All right, we're going to be gods on the planet Earth, man. That's a, And the Lord promised us that, man. All right, it says, verse 19, it says, for the earnest expectation of the creature. So this is our earnest expectation. It didn't say might happen. It said expect, man. When you have expectation, you expect. All right, you when you have it, expectation, you uh. You know something is going to happen or know something is going to come. Just like when you're on a job, right? When you work for Esau, okay, and, and you, uh, you know, you put in your 40 hours, you know, for the week. What are you expecting? You're expecting to get paid, right? And when you don't get, uh, when you don't get paid, then what? you like, damn, hold on, man. I'm finna go check his ass, man. You know, I'm finna, you know, find out, you know, why this money ain't hit my account yet. Well, how much more... With this truth, this is the work, man. Okay, going out, bring, uh, bringing many sons to glory, or bring, bringing many sons to righteousness, man. That's changing souls. We're changing lot, uh, lives out here, man. Every day, man. You know, every day, man. These videos going out, we, we're touching uh, uh, spirits, man. Changing lives, man. We're turning people back to y'all, busting y'all shy. So that's the work. And you think the Most High is not going to reward you for that, man? You think? Uh, you got to expect the Most High to uh, reward you. The Most High said, if you do this work, all right, he's going to put he gonna put you up there, man. He's going to put you on that level, man. All right? He's going to give you the kingdom, man. All right? The scripture say, it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. We don't deserve the kingdom. The Lord is going to give us the kingdom, man. That's beautiful, man. Merciful, man. The Most High is so merciful. Romans chapter 8, and that's why he should be... Uh, the scripture says, seek him 10 times more. You should be seeking the most high, like how merciful he is, man. We always talk about the destruction, and that's the balance. But look at the mercy of the Lord. He getting ready to sing you how shy his right hand, man. He getting ready to show the, spirit, the, the true power of his right hand. Okay, that he been holding back for a long time. And your Howard shy can't wait to be shown, to be manifested, man. So that's why it says, for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. Because with Yahweh Shah returning, we're going to be manifested, man. It's going to be made clear who the man of the Lord is, man. You see? So that's, and the Lord promised us, man. 
he promised all right us that what verse 20 for the creature was made subject to vanity not willingly okay so it, it's not for it's not not for you not for your will all right but the scripture say let thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven right it says but by reason of him who have subjected the same in hope so the lord subjected us he submitted us all right in this flesh all right so that what we can have hope man hoping to the end matter of fact let's get a let's sit on that let's get this in the book of Jude. all right and then i'm going to hebrews because i'm gonna close out on hebrews chapter three but let's get this in the book of Jude, man you know we are subjected in hope all right, this is uh, Jude 1 in, um, Jude 1, and I believe, let me see, Slakia. Yep, Jude 1 and 6, so lock it. Jude 1 and 6, it says, And the angels, which kept not their first estate, and that word for first estate is principality, which is what? Being a God. We were gods, man. You know, we was on that level. The Lord had us on a God-like state, man, in the ancient world, man. You know? And even before that, being an uh, Aliyah, man. You know, Alahayim, powers, you know? That created all these things with Yahushai, man. That was our first estate principalities on the right hand side but what it said the angels why because we are angels man we are the angels man we're angels in the, in this flesh our, our our spirit is subjected into this flesh which makes us what subject to hope that the lord is going to return because the scriptures say the captive uh hasteneth that he may be loose man the captive exile hastening that he may be loose loose from what loose from this flesh so that what we can uh, live and fly and, 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 and breathe, all right, and to exhale, man, you know, to literally live, man, to be the sons of the Most High, to be the princes of the power, man, to be nigh to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh you know, with that new body, the new covenant, you see, the fleshly heart, I'm taking away the stony heart, man, you know, all right. So it says, and the angels was kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation. But have he have reserved in everlasting chains unto darkness until the judgment of that great day. Right? So the Lord reserved us in chains of darkness, which is his flesh, unto that great day. What great day? The great day that Yahweh Bashem Yahushai returns, according to 2 Thessalonians, I mean 1 Thessalonians 4. Alright, and the scripture said the dead shall rise first, man. Okay. The dead is going to rise first. Those that be alive shall be changed and meet the Lord and, to, and uh, be caught up in the air with him. And so shall we ever be with the Lord, man. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. That's our, our, our mercy, Lord's will. We are part of that number. Lord's one part of that number, you know. But for two-thirds of our people in Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, death and destruction. The scriptures say, uh, 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 that shall be welling and gnashing of teeth, man. The scriptures say in the book of Revelations, the first chapter, okay, um, uh, uh, all the tribes of the earth shall mourn, shall well because of him, man. It's going to be great wailing and gnashing of teeth in that day that Yahweh shall return. Why? Because everybody's going to be so afraid. The scriptures say they were afraid and yet there's fight. Okay? So it's going to be a lot of people that's going to drop dead at the sight of seeing Yahweh shall. But guess what? The scriptures say let us come uh, uh, boldly to the throne of grace, man. We're boldly coming to Yahweh shall. Why? Because we understand that he has uh, returned it to us, man. We understand all we have to do is repent, ask for forgiveness, continuously pray without ceasing, okay, and, and stay in the spirit, man, to the best of our ability, man, and do the work, all right? Constantly be in the work, constantly strive to be in the spirit. Why? Because there is a, a, a promise for your faith, for your belief. There is a reward for your belief, man. This is Hebrews chapter 3 and verse, um, Hebrews chapter 3, verse uh, 4. I believe 14. Con, Hebrews chapter 3, verse 14, it says, For we are made partakers of Mashiach if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. All right, so what we got to have the same energy, the same confidence, the same boldness, the same faith, 
until the end, all right? To be able to confess the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai in the world, you know? That's why the scriptures say these are days that stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. They didn't give a damn about themselves. They gave a damn about doing his truth, doing his work, you know? And professing the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. All right, whether they lived, all right, or whether they uh, uh, died for the truth, guess what? They, uh, they are all one, man, in Yahweh Shai, because he is able to uh, raise up the dead, man. And quicken and quicken with a quickening spirit, man. All right, and what is that? This, this truth, man. You know, but we're ultimately going to be changed, man. All right, it says, uh, jump down. Oh no, that's it. Slug it. Uh, Hebrews three and fourteen. For we are made partakers of Mashiach if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast until the end. All right, let's get another one in Hebrews. Hebrews eleven and six. Hebrews 6 and 10, it says, For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your works and labor of love. Right? So that would make the Most High unrighteous, man, if he forgot about us, if he, if he forgot about us striving all right, for righteousness, if he forgot about us believing in him. The scripture say, The Most High is not a man that he shall not lie. The Lord said, If you seek him with all your heart, okay, then will he be shown unto you, man. All right? He said, when you have searched for me with all your heart, thou shalt find me, man. Thou shalt cons uh, uh, consider, you know, at the end, you know, roughly to say. And that's what we did, man. We, we searched the scriptures, man, constantly, you know. Abiding in the love of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. The everlasting mercy power, uh, merciful power, man. All right. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10, For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed towards his name, and in, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister, man. So the Most High, all right, is not unrighteous to forget our works, man. All right? But I'm going to jump down to verse 17, wherein the Most High willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise the immutability of his counsel confirmed it by an oath. So what? The most high Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai showing the heirs of his promise what the elect. You see? That it is impossible for him to lie, man. He confirmed it by an oath. The Lord swore to himself, man. Alright, that he was going to do this, man. That he was going to redeem us. Okay, he was going to bring us back into our land. He was going to change us. Everything that's written down in the scriptures, the Holy Bible, man, the word of the Yahweh Shai must come to pass, man. All right, if we hold fast to our faith, there's a great reward for this, man. And that's going to start with salvation, man. All right, so Lord's will, this lesson was edifying to the elect. Call Halayim, or Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to my apostles. That was a great millstone. They taught me the truth and do it well. So I taste this according to Achim, and Shalom to the elect.